Hi, and welcome to the Animal Wellness Center of Maple Grove's YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Ambrose, and this is Sarah, one of our wonderful certified veterinary technicians. Today, we are going to be teaching you how to give vitamin B12 injections to your pet at home. Vitamin B12 injections are most often prescribed when your pet has a primary intestinal disorder that prevents them from absorbing the vitamin normally from their food. Uh, in which case, oral supplementation wouldn't work either, right? If we gave them vitamin B12 pills, they still wouldn't be able to absorb the vitamin. However, if we inject it under their skin, it's then absorbed into their bloodstream and useful to them. There are multiple benefits to learning how to give these injections to your pet in the comfort of your home environment. One, it saves you a lot of travel and time and money compared to coming to the clinic and having one of us give the injection every time. Two, it saves your pet the stress of a hospital visit. And three, even though it is a very safe and quick medical procedure, it can have profound implications on your pet's overall well-being and health. One of our veterinarians has prescribed this medication injection to your pet, one of your questions might be, is there a risk of hurting my pet with the needle? This is a common initial concern, and so please take heart. One of the major goals of this instructional video is to show you how safe and simple it is for you to do this for your pet. Uh, it's actually one of the safest things you can do for them at home. And of course, we look forward to helping you become more comfortable with the procedure in the safety of our hospital during a demonstration appointment. You need only a few items to complete this extremely beneficial procedure. First, vitamin B12 is stored in a dark glass bottle. It's a beautiful magenta color, and the glass helps to protect it from light exposure. So please keep it stored in a cool, dark place, such as a cupboard or drawer. Second, we will dispense needles and syringes to you to complete the subcutaneous injections. Since the doses are pretty small for vitamin B12, we will often just send home a pre-assembled needle and syringe for you like this. Otherwise, we will send home individual sterile syringes for you to which you will attach your needles. The needles come individually in sterile sheaths like this. The most common one we would send with you is this blue one, which is a 22 gauge needle. Again, very small in which case you would simply twist off the clear plastic end and discard and then place your needle on your syringe by applying the hub and applying some gentle firm pressure. To prepare an injection, remove the plastic cap from the needle and set aside. You'll need this later, so don't lose it. Then, gently invert the vitamin B12 bottle and insert the needle in the rubber seal all the way up to the hub. Then, draw back on the plunger to the appropriate dose that has been prescribed for your pet. I like to draw a little bit past the dose because sometimes air bubbles get into the syringe, and that way I can just gently flick them back to the top and push any air back into the bottle and re-arrive at the correct dose. Don't worry if there is a small amount of air left in the syringe after you've drawn up the dose. A small amount of air getting under your pet's skin will not hurt them. now ready to give your pet the injection. It's important to select a calm, relaxing location for your pet and to have plenty of positive reinforcement ready, such as deli meat for Austin here. Uh, by making the injection a rewarding experience, you will have a very compliant pet in the long term. For your comfort at first, you may wish to have two people available, one to hold and praise your pet and one to give the injection. Pretty soon though, you will confidently be giving injections all by yourself in just a few seconds. We will teach you how to give vitamin B12 injections in your pet's loose scruff between the shoulder blades for two reasons. This skin contains the least nerve endings on the body, and so it is the least painful place to insert a needle. Many patients act like they don't even feel the puncture. And there's plenty of skin to work with so that you can feel confident that your needle is in the correct place and you will not hurt your pet. Start by calmly stroking your pet and then gently but firmly pick up a section of skin between the shoulder blades. You will see that this forms a tent of skin where you will direct your needle. And you'll also notice that you have plenty of space to work with, so don't worry about hitting something like muscle or bone. 
Next, place your needle in the center of the taut triangle and gently but firmly and quickly push the needle through the skin. You will feel a slight punch as you penetrate the skin and this is good because you don't want your needle to get stuck in the skin or subcutaneous fat. So, like this. Don't be shy. A brief, bold injection is safer and easier for your pet. The process is exactly the same for a feline patient. Calmly stroke your cat and then gently but firmly pick up a section of skin to form a tent. Feel around your tent and convince yourself that you have plenty of space to make a good painless injection. Aim for the center, gently but firmly punch through the skin all the way up to the hub. Depress the plunger and remove in a smooth, quick motion and you're done. After the injection, make sure to take your needle cap and recap your needle carefully, making sure not to poke yourself. And then remove the needle from the syringe and place the needle in a sealed thick plastic container such as a milk jug or a used liquid laundry detergent bottle. Seal it and when you've accumulated enough syringes, reinforce the seal with some duct tape and you may discard of this in your regular trash. Then go ahead and discard your used syringe and of course, most importantly, praise your pet for being so good during their injection. Good job, Austin. Good job, Jekyll. And make sure to put your vitamin B12 bottle back in a cool, dark place for storage. Thank you for watching our vitamin B12 injection demonstration video. Hopefully this video has helped you to feel more confident and prepared to provide this really beneficial service to your pet in the comfort of your home environment. And of course, the video can provide a good refresher should you need it. Please schedule an appointment with us to practice on your pet in the safety of our hospital environment so that we can boost your confidence and safety by going over the equipment and technique in person. And as always, if you have any concerns or questions, don't hesitate to give us a call at 763-420-7958.